What's up guys? It's Dr. Jim. Welcome to the live tonight. I am your CBD expert, Dr. Jim Holland. I am the chiropractor here in Richmond, Virginia. Um, I am your CBD expert, your natural health care expert, and that new one we added, your virtual health coach for all around the country. Um, when you're getting on tonight, what I really want you to do is go ahead and um, put your name in and what you're, whether you're watching this live or on the replay. I love to know who's getting the full energy live. You're getting it full effect right now live or you're watching it on the replay. However you're watching it, I am glad you are on tonight. I'm glad you're seeing this because this information has the ability to not only change your life, but change a lot of people's lives. This is a, this is a very hot topic. I put out a message on my Dr. Jim Holland CBD page asking for people to give me information about what they want to hear about. And this was one of the ones that I heard about. Um, and we are going to talk about CBD oil and anxiety. Now, that's a hot topic. It's a big deal. And um, I want to get a few th little housekeeping out of the way first. Number one, um, I you know, the disclaimer, it goes a, a couple different ways. Number one is I am not your doctor tonight. You are not my patient tonight. There's nothing about this video that constitutes a doctor-patient relationship. So please use this video strictly for educational purposes. Um, please do not change anything about what you're taking or what you're doing until you consult the doctor that prescribed it. Um, that's really important. And the second disclaimer is um, just remember, even though we're talking about CBD oil and anxiety, we do not diagnose, treat, or claim to cure any specific disease with the use of CBD oil. Um, I'm just, I want to go through kind of what's out there in the research and what's going on to explain how CBD oil can affect anxiety and usually, almost always, in a positive way. And so that's really what tonight's live is about. Thanks for getting on. Thanks for dropping those uh, comments, the likes. Feel free to share the video while we're doing it. Um, we're going to get a lot of eyes on it. Just a little recap of the videos I have done so far. I just added up all the views. We've had over 105,000 views of all the videos I've done. And that's because of awesome people like you, the CBD tribe that we've created. And I'm just excited for you all to be a part of it. And I just want to get on with tonight, but I'm really excited. Um, we're going to talk about CBD oil and anxiety. Now, this is... I. I did a little research into this and I, I, I knew that anxiety was a big deal. Too many people tell me, you know, what about anxiety? What about anxiety? So I knew it was a big deal, but not until I started digging a little deeper did I find out that roughly 40, it's the number one mental illness in the United States. A roughly 40 million people suffer from anxiety. About 18% of the population in the U.S., is um, has um, anxiety, but this is a unique part. Only about 37% or 37% actually go untreated. They seek no treatment for it. Um, it's really kind of scary. So um, anxiety is a big deal. It's affecting a lot of people. Um, I personally don't have any experience with it. So those of you that are out there that deal with anxiety, you already know. You could You could educate me on what it feels like to be trapped in that prison of having anxiety and that crushing feeling and the fear and the how it affects your sleep and all those kind of things. But um, when we talk about anxiety, the first thing we're going to talk about is what's really the current treatment that's out there. Well, it's mostly drug therapies. And we start off with is a couple different kinds of drugs that people use. Number one is what are called the benzos or benzodiazepines. Um, these are opiate drugs um, and they are things like Xanax, uh, clonopin Valium, all right? And then they have, and I've got to look at my notes because I'm not a big drug guy, so I don't know all the names of these drugs. Um, but then there, there's a tricyclic antidepressants like um, nortriptyline, amitriptyline, trazodone, all right? And then the third one uh, classification of drugs that are most typically prescribed for anxiety are the SSRI medications or the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And these are the ones probably the most prescribed because they're, they don't have necessarily all the serious negative side effects that the opioids have, but these are like Prozac, Zoloft, Paxil, Lexapro. Um, these are the really big ones. Now, the problem here is, let's face it, 
these, all these medications have side effects. And a lot of them are quite severe. I mean, we do have an opioid epidemic in the United States. It's a big deal. We want to, you know, and the reason why that's scary is the, some of these opioid drugs, um, and really all of them, the opioids, any of these medications, once you start taking them, the problem is there is a significant withdrawal when you go to come off of them. And so oftentimes, all the withdrawal symptoms are the exact same symptoms of the reason why you took them in the first place heightened anxiety and fear and all kinds of things. And so the problem is you go to come off of them and you feel as bad as when you went on them and you go, oh, well, I can't get off of it because look how I feel. But really that's the withdrawal from the medication that makes you feel that way. And, you know, opioids have um, significant uh, problems with abuse and addiction. And these, these are the reasons why the current treatment is somewhat of an issue. Now, I'm not here to speak against anybody's treatment, um, and I'm not recommending anybody stop doing what they're doing now. That is between you and the doctor that prescribed it. Absolutely do not just stop taking these medications. It will be the worst decision you ever made, and it could have potential serious side effects. So I do not want you to do that. That's a big deal, all right? But because of their their side effects and the room for addiction and abuse, um, wouldn't it be great if there was a way to have a positive impact on anxiety without, without all the negative side effects that was completely natural and 100% non-addictive? That sounds pretty cool to me. That sounds like something I would be interested in. And if you have anxiety, then I think that's something that you would probably want to be interested in as well. So. What's great about CBD oil is there are known, no known real negative side effects to CBD oil. Um, it is, even at ridiculously high doses, it has been found to be non-toxic and it is completely non-addictive. And so CBD oil is considered extremely safe. And so, you know, the Hippocratic Oath says, above all else, do no harm. And so what's so great about CBD oil is it is not going to do any harm. All right. A lot of these medications that we take for anxiety, they have the potential to create some harm on the other side. So um, if we can find a completely natural, uh, non-toxic, non-addictive way to help with anxiety, I think that would be something that would be great to explore and I'm sure you do too. Go ahead and give me some thumbs ups and some likes if you, if you agree. All right. Now, in order really to talk about anxiety um, we really, and CBD oil, we really have to talk about some neurotransmitters. All right, neurotransmitters are, you know, ultimately where all these medications have an impact and ultimately where they suspect anxiety really stems from is some imbalances in your neurotransmitters. So let's talk about those neurotransmitters because that's where the impact of CBD oil is going to happen. Number one we're going to talk about is glutamate. Now glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter. Basically it means, it, it basically means it, it fires up your nerves. It, it fires them more and more. Um, they actually talk about glutamate toxicity it, when a person's having a seizure. So when glutamate, the neurotransmitter, dumps into the synapses in your brain, it can hyper excite the nerves and cause them to fire excessively. Um, so you can imagine if you have, you know, that's one of the reasons why, you know, everybody started on this, hey, can you please not put any MSG in my Chinese food, all right? monosodium glutamate, all right? That glutamate is a neuro exciter and it can affect your sleep and cause anxiety and all kinds of problems for people that are sensitive to it. And so that's a big deal. So glutamate's an excitatory chemical in your brain. You can imagine that that's probably elevated and can, is elevated when you have anxiety. Now, what's really cool is CBD oil affects glutamate receptors. And this is what's cool. It, it suppresses or it, it makes the receptor so that the, um, it suppresses glutamate activity. So what happens is if you have a hyper excited neurotransmitter brain, which can lead to anxiety, CBD oil has a way of, of shunting or, or muting the receptor sites for glutamate so it reduces glutamate activity. So just by reducing an excitatory chemical, it can actually calm the brain down. And that's one way that CBD oil helps with anxiety. 
Number two, GABA, all right? So if glutamate is the, the most excitatory type of neurotransmitter or chemical, well, what's really cool then is GABA is its opposite. GABA is the number one inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain. So it helps calm everything down, all right? It is the brain calmer. Now, this is what's really cool. CBD oil increases the, brain's recep the brain receptor's affinity for GABA, all right? So this is what's cool, is when you, so GABA is a, the number one inhibitory chemical in the brain to calm everything down, and CBD oil increases, so there's receptor sites in your brain for GABA. Well, it increases those receptor sites' ability basically to latch onto GABA. So when GABA attaches to that receptor site, your brain can calm down. Guess what? That has a really positive impact on anxiety. Once again, we do not diagnose or treat or claim to cure any specific disease with CBD oil, but I just want you to know that this is, this is what happens in your brain when you take CBD oil, okay? It, it interferes with glutamate's ability to attach to its receptor sites, so, and that's the number one excitatory chemical in the brain, which might cause anxiety. GABA, the number one inhibitory neurotransmitter, which calms everything down, it, it improves the ability of those receptor sites to attach to GABA. You see where this is going? It looks pretty awesome, right? Well, then there's a third, another one, serotonin. Now, this is the one everybody knows about. And the reason why everybody's heard and knows about serotonin is almost every drug out there to treat anxiety or depression, almost always they're using SSRI medications or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Now, those medications um, are designed to try to keep serotonin out in the bloodstream longer. That's why it's a reuptake inhibitor. So by inhibiting the reuptake, it keeps it out in your brain longer so that it could it build up. Now, CBD oil really affects serotonin in three different ways. This is really complex stuff. I'm gonna try to make it really simple, but I'm gonna have to look at my notes a couple times. Number one, it, it affects the five HT1A receptors, all right? So these are serotonin receptors. Basically, 5-HT is serotonin. So 5-HT1A receptors are serotonin receptors. And just like it improved the affinity for those receptors for GABA to attach, it improves the affinity for those receptors for serotonin to attach. So it makes serotonin attaching to its receptor site easier. And we know that serotonin is a feel-good neurotransmitter. And so if you can increase that HT1A receptor site's ability to attach to it, it's gonna have a positive impact on your serotonin, which will have a positive impact. Just like taking an SSRI medication wants to increase serotonin, this would do the same, okay? Number two, um, it can also increase the body's ability to make serotonin. So there's a part in the brain called the raphi nuclei, and by the indirectly, CBD oil increases the ability of the raphi nuclei to actually make serotonin. So here we have the receptor sites are getting better for serotonin and the brain can actually make serotonin better. It looks like it's gonna be a win, right? And then third, um, there is always a feedback loop. When, when there are certain hormones or chemicals go out, there, it always feeds back to the beginning to say, hey, you can stop making that now, we have enough. Well, when CBD oil increases receptor sites and often because CBD oil is not actually serotonin, it, when it binds to a receptor site, it doesn't feed back to and shut down serotonin production. So you're actually getting the effects and the serotonin keeps pumping out. So you can increase your serotonin levels, number one, by increasing the um, HT1A receptor site affinity. Number two, it helps indirectly your body make more serotonin. And then third, there's no negative feedback loop to shut down the serotonin production like there would be in other serotonin medications. And so there's three ways that it increases serotonin. And we know serotonin is good, right? Now, lastly, and this is probably the coolest one, and this is probably the main 
main activity that CBD oil has in the body. Almost all of the great effects that you feel in your body from CBD oil actually comes from, from this part. Your body actually makes cannabinoids, all right? They are called your endocannabinoids, all right? So CBD oil is a uh, phytocannabinoid. You know, it comes from a plant. But endocannabinoids are substances like things from cannabis that your body actually makes. And one of them is called anandamide. Now, what's cool about anandamide is the root, anan, actually means, in Sanskrit, means joy, bliss, peace, happiness. Now, who doesn't want more joy, bliss, peace, and happiness in their life, right? So anandamide is a natural chemical in your body. Your body makes it, and it's a neurotransmitter. And when it goes, it helps bring bliss, joy, peace in the brain, all right? Something that if you have anxiety, you really, really want. Now, how does CBD oil have an impact on anandamide? Well, when anandamide's in the body, um, there is an enzyme, FAAH. Now, FAAH breaks down anandamide after it's been out in the system and degrades it part of its natural life cycle. But guess what CBD oil does? CBD oil basically slows down or stops FAAH from breaking down anandamide. So your own natural joy and bliss chemical can stay in your brain longer and build up. Wow. I mean, who doesn't want some CBD oil? I mean, who couldn't have more joy, peace, and, and you know, more anandamide floating around in their brain? I, I certainly want plenty of it, okay? And so that's a really cool thing. Anandamide, your own natural, in your body, made by your body, joy, bliss molecule, CBD oil helps keep it from getting broken down by the FAH enzyme. So you have more anandamide floating around and that reduces anxiety. So the, the main ways that CBD oil can affect anxiety in a positive way is number one, it, it helps reduce the effect of, or the receptors for glutamate, which is an excitatory chemical in the brain. It helps improve the receptors for GABA, which is a natural calmer downer that's that's scientific, right? Calmer downer. A natural uh, inhibitory neurotransmitter helps calm the brain. It improves the receptors for GABA. Third, it helps serotonin in a number of ways. Number one, it activates the 5-HT1A receptor, um, making it easier to bind to serotonin. Number two, helps the raphine nuclei do a better job of producing serotonin. And then third, there is no negative backwards a negative feedback loop to stop serotonin production. And then lastly, anandamide. The body's own endocannabinoid, it's super bliss molecule, it helps stop the enzyme that breaks it down. All right, so by breaking, stopping the enzyme that breaks it down, anandamide builds up, more joy, bliss chemical floating around your brain. This is how CBD oil has a positive impact on anxiety, all right? And it does it with no negative side effects, no toxicity, no, no possibility of um, addiction. It's completely natural. So one of the things people always tell me, go, well, I'm not really sure I want to try CBD oil. And my question is, but you're already taking benzodiazepines or SSRI medications, but you're, but you, but you're afraid to take CBD oil. And I'm going to tell you that there, this is much safer and much more natural. Now, do not change what you're doing just because we talked about this really cool thing. It can be something you can add in and talk to your doctor about. And later on, maybe you can, if things get better from taking it, you can slowly wean yourself down with your doctor's help. Okay? So that is how CBD oil can have a positive impact on anxiety. I want you to share and like this video. Like I said, all these videos together over the last month, we've had over 105,000 views. That's amazing. Keep it up. Um, I want to help you, all right? So if you're watching this video and you have anxiety or any of the number of reasons why people take or check out CBD oil, I want you to reach out to me, message me directly from this video. 
message me and I will help you. I will, I will, I will help you with the brand of CBD oil that I recommend. It's incredibly pure. It's made in the United States. It's made in Kentucky, Mom. Um, it is CO2 extracted. There's only like two or three ingredients, completely pure, just such great results with it with all my patients and in my own, you know, my own life. And so if you want to know what brand I recommend um, and you want to know what I recommend for you specifically, please message me or message the person who sent you this video and they, I'm sure they'd be glad to do the same. Second is I am building a team because this is information that is, I'm only one dude and I need it. I need people all over, not just this country, but this world. So I'm looking for one person from every state to message me to be on my team. Just say, I want to be on your team. Message me directly and we will, we will communicate and we will hook up. And then I will help you as we go through this and share this message out there because there's a lot of people that need to know this and there's a lot of misinformation out there and I want to help every last one of you get this word out and help share this information. And so I'm looking for um, people that want to buy CBD oil. I'm here to help you. Let me know. Message me and I will help you or message the person that sent it to you. Or if you want to be on my team, message me directly. Um, if someone shared it with you, go be on their team. Um, but we're here, to, we're going to change lives. It's going to be a difference. I also want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I put up all of these videos on YouTube so you can share them from there as well. In case you don't have Facebook, it's Dr. Jim Holland. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, I know I got this is a long ending, but I'm currently launching three online virtual programs for people who would like my help. Number one is the CBD Diabetes Solution. Number two is the CBD Thyroid Solution. And number three is the CBD Inflammation Solution. And you can message me, see about what it would take to be part of that program, um, to work with me either one-on-one -on -one as your coach or to do a virtual online coaching with you to help you with those issues. But CBD oil and anxiety, it share it, love it. It's it's making a difference all over the world. Um, tonight, um, I just want to say a couple things. Just like I tell my son every night or every day before he goes to school, be your very best today. Hashtag never quit. And if no one's ever told you this, I believe that God wants the very, very best for you. And the day you believe that, it will change your life forever. Have an awesome night.